Hello, welcome to IT Security Labs. My name is Howard, and today we're going to complete a machine called Squid from OFSEC Proving Grounds. This is going to teach us some offensive security skills. So if you're interested in ethical hacking and also specifically on Windows, this machine is going to teach us how to enumerate Windows, find some vulnerabilities in Windows, and also help us identify how we can easily fix them if we needed to. So we're going to jump into OFSEC Proving Grounds and complete a machine called squid okay so as you can see here i'm already signed into the offsec proving grounds and i started this machine uh, so you need to go to portal.offsec.com create an account and then you'll be able to see the squid machine under proving grounds practice i will copy the ip address this also pops up its own uh, kali linux machine so down here i have a kali linux machine that i popped up here so i'll ping that machine to see if I can get to it. And here we go, ping works. So since ping works here, let's just do an Nmap. This is what I usually start with. Nmap is a net network scanner. It will scan for service version using default scripts, uh, top 1000 ports. I like this to be VV for the boss. And then hopefully this will identify something interesting on the top 1000 ports. Right away it's identifying two ports. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it might be a, a blocking ping and then let's add dash pn to no ping and hopefully we will be able to get this working all right so no ping in this case we are discovering 445 139 this shows me that this is a windows machine right off the bat let's go ahead and find out what is 3128 that's not a usual port so we need to google that pen testing port hopefully that's a default port all right it says squid pen testing squid so we are actually in the right direction here from what we can see the internet is slow there and while that is loading let's look at this is it really squid scroll up yes http proxy in specifically squid 4.14 let me do a search exploit on this maybe this will be quick let's just do squid squid 4 okay i don't see any of these as squid version 4 these are 1 point and 2 or squid less than 3 so because of that let's go back to our article let's copy that let's get it out of there pen testing squid that looks like it they have 4.11 and we had 4.14 so close enough so what are they saying we can send a curl command so you can set the discovered service as proxy in your browser however if it's configured with http authentication you'll be prompted for username and password so you can do curl to that like that or nmap proxied you can use spus scanner okay so let's copy that all right so coming here Let's just go to GitHub in, in our machine and see if we can access the tool. All right, so let's clone this. I'm not even bothering creating folders in here because this is not my Kali, it's their Kali. All right, so ls cd spus, 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 whatever that is. All right, so now that we did that, uh, what are they saying? Let's scan our machine one more time, but we're going to be changing the IP addresses for a second here. So let's paste it there. Let's also scan the same target. We want to proxy through our proxy and scan ourselves. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Spoof said they, they found port 3306 and 8080. Op Okay, so now that we know that we also have two ports open and they're saying here in this documentation from Hectrix, we can use proxy chains. But since I'm, I, I saw two web ports open, um, 3306 is my SQL and also 8080, which is a web server. Let me start with the web server. Do I have proxy proxy somewhere here? Let's add, uh, let's go to extensions in our browser. Foxy proxy. 
I haven't used this in a long time, so let's hope we can just add it in as an add-on. Let's do this. In my own personal Kali because it's better. Setting the offset VPN. Let's see if this works. Visiting that site. Okay, I actually need to restart the machine. Okay, I'll let it start and then we'll proceed from my own Kali because this was painful to work with. All right, so it looks like it's up now. Refresh 192.168.182. So the IP address changed. All right, and we're back in business. Okay, this is way, way better <laughs> compared to what we were dealing with earlier. So now that we know that this can be accessed, we can access other websites using Foxy Proxy. Let me see if here I already have Foxy Proxy. Manage extensions, Foxy Proxy. This one here. I guess this is the recommended one. We add the recommended one. Add Firefox. Notice that my Firefox is way better than the one in the lab. So now that we have Foxy Proxy there, let's open it. Okay. Got the options. Under proxies, we can hit add. In this case, this will be squid. Type is HTTP. We don't care about the country, city, the host name. Let's give it the IP address. 3128, that's the port. 3128. There's no username and password. You just need the IP address there. Let's save that. We can save it again. Okay, now that we did that, if I go to my Foxy proxy, we now have Squid over there. So for Squid, if we hit, I think this is enabled. Okay, I think I have it working. Now let's go and visit that website on 8080. All right, so we can get there now. Now I see a WAMP. This is a Windows Apache server and MySQL all combined. I'm looking for any interesting thing here. Oh, actually, your projects, aliases, add minor. Let's see if I can open these. All right, I have this add minor version. Oh, I can't because I'm, I'm through the proxy. So, okay. So I've add minor. Uh, let's see what else I have. PHP, my admin. Open link. All right. PHP, my admin. Usually, um, the default is admin and no password. That's the default credential. And most of the time, if this one is behind a proxy or if it's running on local host, they don't put a password. Um, error, access denied, admin and local hold, no password. Let's try admin, admin. All right, don't save. Then let's just do a quick lookup. Quick lookup of PHP, my admin, default password. Let's see what people say. I thought it's admin, ad root and now. Okay, so let's try root, no password. I don't know why I thought it was admin. It has been a while. Go. All right, so we are in. So Googling default credentials is part of our job here. And now that we're in, we can see what permissions we have. If we can run SQL here, in this case, we are running version PHP my admin 5.02. We can even Google that as well. So Google 5.02 PHP my admin. So somebody would have done it. Um, let's type something like, web shell or reverse shell because i think i've done this shell uploading use through php my admin this is hacking articles or analysis let's go to hacking articles or i also like this one and then hacking articles let's get ourselves educated on how we do this so shell uploading using php my admin okay yeah we see something like this our version okay what are they saying we need to do now okay we need to create a database. Ignite Technologies, it was collation. Okay, I'm going to name mine Hacker. 
and leave it on collation. Then create. Because I want to make sure that I have the same thing. Now I can see the database on the section. Of course I do. Click on the Ignite Te Technology Databases and construct a SQL query inside your database. Hence, click SQL. Okay, then here's the SQL tab, show tables. No, show database. No, yeah, show tables. Let's run this. I just want to see if I... Okay, I have no tables and I can run queries. I just want to make sure that I can run queries because I just created that database. And you construct my SQL queries. Okay, we did that. Now, this is an interesting part because we're going to execute malicious code inside of that. So select PHP, get CMD, then output file to that. I'll probably name this one instead of backdoor. So we're just creating a PHP file that allows us to have command execution in the browser. But I'm too lazy today. I'm going to leave it at backdoor. But if I were doing this for someone else, obviously, you don't want that. And this is going to be in the XAMPP folder. C XAMPP folder. Assuming that that folder exists. Wait, 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 wait. This is going to XAMPP. Ours is not XAMPP. It's WAMP, according to the other side that we saw. It's WAMP, not XAMPP. So let's um, paste here. So instead of XAMPP, let's change this to a W. Yeah, backdoor.php is fine. Let's go. Query error, select CMD, outfiles, C, WAMP, htdocs, backdoor.php. Maybe we don't have htdocs. Let's write it to the root of the WAMP. Can't write no such file or directory. C, WAMP, backdoor.php. So we need to find out WAMP. Uh, actually, is it www instead of htdocs? I think it's www. Um, um, is this how we spell WAMP? I believe I might have a typo. Okay. Oh, well, 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 well. WAMP with one W. All right. <laughs> it took me, you know, four times. I could have just Googled this. So now in my www, I have a backdoor.php. So what that means is if I do this, let's just copy the backdoor.php. Instead of admirer on that port 8080, if I do backdoor.php, question mark, and then um, here I said CMD is the parameter. So let's put CMD equals to who am I? Is this going to work? Yes. NT authority service. Ah, this is bad. So I already NT authority service here. So what this means to me is I can just get a reverse here and become NT authority. I thought there was like supposed to be privilege escalation or anything like that. So I guess it's just about going through the proxy. So now that I'm in NT authority service, what I can do is I need to convert this who am I into a regular command, like a real command. Let me open this. Let me go to ref shells. I need to generate a reverse shell. And specifically, I want something easy. I don't want a full-blown shell. Since I'm already system on the system, I just need a really easy ref shell. So what is my IP address? Here's the tunnel IP address. I'm just going to generate a reverse shell very quick, quick and dirty. If there's no EDR there, I'll be in business. So I give this thing my IP address. Let's um let's use the the easy port, <laughs> the CTF port. This is Windows. I really don't want to upload any binaries or anything like that. Let's go with PowerShell. Uh, not that PowerShell three. Yeah. And here, I really want netcat, so I'm just going to do that. Clear that. Netcat, can you please listen for me? And then, with this PowerShell, it will give me a CMD, reverse shell, sure. I don't want to encode, let me just see if it works out of the box. I'll come back here. Instead of who am I, I'm just going to run that PowerShell encode. Encoded. I might need to URL encode it, but uh, warning. 
Cannot execute blank commands in C. Backdoor. I guess not. So back here, instead of that, let's URL encode that. And copy. Because he really didn't like playing nice with me. So CMD equals to, I'll put that encoded now. Did something happen? Oh, I get a shell. Why does my shell look like this? What kind of shell is this? Duh. Well, I guess I, it's, it's a shell. See this C users administrator. Duh. Duh. C users. Let's see if this one works. Type. Okay, so it's not in the administrator's desktop. I guess I uh, there C. Let's just start looking for it. Okay, here is local dot text type. Local dot text. I was thinking of hex the box. Type C. Local dot text. Come back here. Here's my squid. Let's submit the flag. Save. And we have solved the machine. So that was a really fun machine. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. This is a change of pace. Offsec Proving Grounds is really great. And Squid just taught us how to deal with Squid proxies. If you enjoy this, please remember to like, subscribe. And I hope to see you next time.